Swapin Sessions where we talk all things Shrewsbury Town FC. This is a new little mini-series for new fans, people who haven't necessarily been to any football matches before, or certainly haven't been to a Shrewsbury Town match. My last video was about how to get your tickets, and this video is what to do once you've got them, or of course you might pre-book them and need to get to the stadium to pick them up. Now, Shrewsbury Town Stadium it is called New Meadow, that's because our old stadium was called Gay Meadow because of where it was, and it's just it's the New Meadow. Um, officially, it's known as Crowd Meadow, they're the sponsors, there's a company called Crowd, but on the likes of Google Maps, etc., you would find it known as Montgomery Waters Meadow for the time being, because they haven't updated it yet, and they're their previous sponsors. So that's what to look for. Um, you can pre-book a parking space at the stadium itself it'll cost you 10 pounds and the spaces are few and far between um, but just around the corner from there is a retail park called Melbrace and it's probably about a 10 minute walk um, a little bit longer if you have any mobility issues from there you can pay five pounds to park at the park and ride there and just follow all the other Shrewsbury Town fans um, they'll all be in their shirts and scarves, etc. And um, they'll lead the way to the stadium. Now, there are a couple of pubs in the area that also do um, some parking on the day. They're a bit more rough and ready, let's say, and some of them are a little bit further away from the stadium, so you'd still need to follow the fans um, to the stadium itself. Those are usually £5 parking and up. Um, they're unofficial. I haven't actually tried them myself. I usually park at Melbrace Park and Ride. You could, of course, walk into the stadium or get a taxi from town, especially if you've made your way by train. Um, there are taxis waiting outside the train station. It's about a 45 minute walk. I have done it once, um, so it depends how much you're up for walking. Um, but of course, the other option is take a short probably less than five minute walk from the train station to the bus station and um, that's in town as well in the town centre just google that and um, there are regular buses from the uh, bus station to the stadium on match days um, but I would recommend uh, looking into that a bit further for the timings because the timings may change um, and you don't want to miss your bus and be late to the match. Now, you could cycle, of course, but I don't remember ever actually seeing any bike racks. Um, so you'd have to check the website for that uh, as to see whether that is a, an option. I don't remember seeing anything on the official website about that. So um, I wouldn't recommend it, especially if it's your first time. A lot of, um, I'm sure a lot of people probably wouldn't consider that on their first visit anyway. Uh, but some people might like to be healthy and cycle down. So once you've got to the stadium, um, make sure that you find the right gate. Um, there are big numbers on the side of the building and that's how you get in. So you look for the turnstiles and at the turnstiles there'll be club stewards that can help you with the rest of your journey into the stadium. Before you go in, you might want to check out any outside um, entertainment that's going on at the time. There is a bar and there's food and there's usually some music as well for the match. So enjoy and welcome to Shrewsbury.